Hey guys, Josh with Deptic Channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use a radiator tester kit to find coolant leaks. Now, this one's dripping on the ground, so you don't necessarily need to use one, but basically what we're going to be doing is using this very basic tool, radiator pressure tester. I'll put a link to the description on one. You don't have to use this one. This is a Matco one, as you can see. I've extended the hose a little bit, but basically all it does is it pressurizes your cooling system so you don't have to have it hot when you're looking for leaks. And here's how you use it. So first thing, you wanna make sure it's not hot because you don't ever wanna take a radiator cap off when it's hot, it can burn you. So take radiator cap off. Cap should say what the pressure rating of the cooling system is. This one is seven PSI. Hopefully yours is not this rusted. So now what you're gonna do is just take your cap and if yours is different, you'll need an adapter. Most of the kits come with adapters, but some vehicles are weird and you need a special adapter. Now this cap is spring loaded. So once you get it locked in place, you need to apply the spring pressure to hold it in place like that. Then you are ready to pressurize your cooling system. Now you wanna do this with coolant in it or else it's gonna take a really long time to fill up with air. Then you're gonna pump it up to the appropriate pressure. Remember we're going to seven PSI. Now this one seven is the green. I'll kinda of show you closer here, but so green. We're at seven and it's, you can see it better when you're closer to it, but. So we're at seven PSI, you're gonna let it hold the pressure, then you're just gonna look for leaks. That's pretty much it. So we, this one, like I said, is already dripping on the ground. So what you're gonna do is just, whenever you find a leak, work your way up to the highest point where the leak's coming from, and that's where it's coming from. So this one, we've got an expansion tank leaking here. Could be a loose clamp, could be the plastic housings cracked. And then we've got one under the engine itself. Now these are usually a little harder to find. So work your way up. And this one, that's the water pump. This is a diesel engine, CAT C12, but ends up being this water manifold right here where it bolts to the cylinder head. That's not the head gasket, but water manifold is difficult to do on this engine. So we found them. Now what if your coin level's dropping, but there's no coin on the ground? Well. It can be going a couple places. One would be in your crankcase. So check your oil, check your dipstick. If there's rust and signs of moisture on that, you might have a problem, you wanna pull your oil pan then and look for signs of coolant. If there's no rust on the dipstick and nothing on the ground but you're losing coolant, you might wanna do something called a bottle or bubble test. And that is basically looking for combustion gases in your cooling system. I have a separate video on that, but basically, if your overflow vent tube looks like this when the engine's running, you probably have a blown head gasket. So that's pretty much it. But time for a little destruction of the week. This week's destruction of the week is actually this. Now the purple truck I was working on is actually behind it, but this is a Kodiak snow blower. You might be saying that is huge. Uh, yeah, this thing could throw snow 150 feet. This is for a local airport, and you can see this thing will basically throw and destroy anything in front of it. So this thing must be loud as heck. But anyways, what it is is it goes on the front of a front loader and it has a 300 horsepower 3126 just to spin the snowblower blades. And what happened to this one? Well, had a little gear train problem. Look at our cam gear there, all chipped, missing a few teeth, not the best. So what happened? The primary cause of failure is actually the air compressor, which runs off of the cam gear, and it locked up. So what did it do? It stripped all the teeth right off of that air compressor. So pretty bad deal, but found the destruction and the machine quite interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed this shorter video. Thanks for watching.